somehow in the end. Good morning, everybody. We have a celebratory Tom lying on the Cadillac singing to you. Have a listen. Um, and I'll wait to welcome you in. He's been practicing all morning in the shower. Um, it's very thematic, isn't it? He's now becoming creative. Anyway, I'm going to give you some ideas as to what's going on today. Yes, the number of the video. Happy Happy Jackie, bear with me. Okay, so thank you, Tom. I'll shut up now. You'll shut up now. Um, you're going to use the little blue ball or a ball that's um, this size-ish. I appreciate that not everyone's got a blue ball. Uh, it's obviously something to do with a celebration yet again. It feels like a decade, doesn't it, actually, since our last video. Uh, so, sorry, since we were in the studio physically. Blue ball, a chair ready. Um, you're starting in this workout with the ball between your thighs and um, everything to do with every single exercise will be with this ball. Once you are getting going in the workout, we'll be starting up here and we'll then to the floor. Tom has chosen the blue ball that he likes, so he's made his kind of job size. If you haven't got a ball, people, just let it go. You could actually, if you don't have a ball, go to um, thigh bones, as in the thigh band, the glute band, and round, yes, the sixes were good times. You would know, Anne and Tom share the same kind of life. Um, I was saying earlier, Tom wishes it was his birth date. It isn't. When I get older, <laughs> losing my hair, many years Lord, from hello now. there. I hope you're all in a bit of a fun mood. Well, I didn't know. Will you still be Shh. sending me a valentine? Video greeting, bottle of wine. Okay, yes. If we could have had a bottle of wine here, and if we could have celebrated with you faithful, online, on with it people, we most certainly would have done that. But we have to be kind of in our virtual world. We're just saying it's a big 60 moment. We'll have a bit of fun. Be very, very proud of yourselves. I have an orange ball and a green ball. Um, Diane, use your green ball, definitely. Don't use the orange one. You can sit on it, but you cannot put it between your thighs. Hello, Susan. Hello, Ken. Ken, get your green ball ready. And Jill Jennings, good morning, Tanya and Tom, great. I good morning, you... Jill. <laughs> Tom's just lying down having a moment. He's, um, <laughs> he's always having a moment, so there's nothing really new there. But anyway, we are at video number 60, and that is to definitely be celebrated. Pat's on the back all round. Everyone, you've done brilliantly. Leslie, hello there. You need a little ball. The ball, if you've got a green ball, that's fine because the, the dark green balls are just slightly bit bigger and they're squishier, the surface um, substance is different. Emily, hello there too. The ball, when you get going, will end up going between your thighs and you'll end up with your hand on the bar. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Jane. Congratulations on 60 videos. Yep, we champagne it all round, I do believe. Um, Tom's just coming. He's um, our latest advert for when the studio opens. Is about to walk through the door. Meet yourself. <laughs> Hello. I'm gloved up. Okay, so he's I'm gloved up. Morning, up. Margaret. Morning, Lindsay. Oh, give me a kiss, darling. <laughs> <laughs> we really have videos. Even Steve Davis is watching just for the entertainment. Happy 60th to you. No, Happy 60th. To you, I'm about 10. Happy 60th, dear Tanya, as I take the knee. Happy 60th, to you. All right, people, we're getting the fun out of the way. Hello, Claire, and hello, Kay. So, Claire and Kay, welcome to the room. You will need, all seriousness now, obviously, Tom's showing you what you'll need when it comes to um, returning to the studio. Tom, will you just Gloves. calm down? Gloves. Gloves. I'm so excited. I'm sweating under here. <laughs> You will need a face mask to arrive in Correct. and to go out in. You won't exercise in it unless you feel particular about that. He's got his personalised little gloves and he now looks more weird than ever. Hello. That's life. Morning, Mena. Morning, Mena. Hi, Mena, everybody. We will need a blue ball. So, Tom, I'm going to take these weights off you before you do something dangerous with them. You'll need a blue ball. Tom, no, 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 you're not sitting down. Oh, come on, I'm sweating on this. <laughs> He's sweating his mask. I'm going to take the mask off, okay? Yeah. The mask that Tom is besporting was chosen by himself out of a series of colours. Colour-coded. <laughs> the, 
but um, Abby um, is supplying, making um, individual. Doing a great job. Um, so if you want to order some, you can go online Thank and you, buy Abby. those. The details are on our website. The gloves, buy your own. These are now sweaty. Tom's only had them on two seconds and they're sweaty. People, I do believe that we need to get this show on the road. So Tom... This is your first act. Can you do this? Roll the ball up your arm. Come on, Diane. Try it. Whoops, a dizzy. And swing it over the other side. Come on, Steve. Can you do it? Look at that. Call it Pilates. <laughs> okay, we will, really will get going. Okay, sorry, sorry. Um, great to have you all in the room. Take your ball and put it between your thigh bones, number one. Number one. Don't have it too high nor too low. And certainly don't have it against your actual structure of the knee joint. You then I would go to the bar. So Tom, go to the bar. Use your listening skills now. I'll try and get Tom trained to listen. Good morning, Pauline. As you go to the bar, stand up tall Breathe. and make sure... Make sure your feet are parallel. Parallel. Your feet are parallel and level. Parallel Immediately level. soften up at your knee joints. So if you need to watch me, then simply have watch, your hand so that you're sideways on, watch but you've got me. your hand on the chair. Inhaling down into your squat you go with the same sense of detail that you've been demonstrating in these sessions this week. Okay, so the inhale, gently squeeze on the ball as you breathe out and stand up. So you slow it down, Tom, squeeze on the ball as you come back up. There should be the time, then the knees, the knees, the knees, and squeeze the ball and stand. I was doing that for a devil. Were you? When you go down the time, stay. stay in your squat. Now breathing deeply in and out. Everyone, stay where you are and reach your hands backwards in the same shape we've been doing um, throughout all of this week. DT, phone home. Keep this connection here as you squeeze the ball and go down another inch, but you squeeze the ball first. And release ball. So, Tom, you feet need to come closer yeah, together. Yeah, because my knees are not Yeah, because you weren't doing it right. As you pull on the ball, pull your arms close together, feeling the shoulder area. So it's smaller moves, Tom, not as big as that. Your arms are squeezing back and slight release. As the ball increases in its tension, the shoulder area does. Look across there. Breathe. You're snapping your fingers. I am snapping my fingers. Breathe. <laughs> Squeeze the shoulders. <laughs> Breathe. You're meant to squeeze and release as you do the ball. All right, people, the next time you're down, stay. Stay down. Now put your hands back on either the chair or the bar. The bar. Listen to me. You've Listen got a rolling me. spine. Oh, Exhale. Yeah. Pelvic floor. No. Listen to me. Sorry. Exhale. Pelvic floor and pelvic tilt. Oh, yes. And now roll up sequentially. Se Use se your listening skills. Sequentially. All right. <laughs> Exhaling now. Up you go to tiptoes, so roll to your tiptoes and lowering down. Start with your heels. And spread, bend your knees slightly. Spread your toes. Better. As you're going up and down. Breathe it. And then, ah. Shut up, Bathgate. As you're going up and down, keep your hands on the bar, Tom. Pelvic floor, navel to spine is the first cue, which Tom isn't doing. So it's Down obvious there. to me when someone's core connecting first or just hoping for the best with what they're oh, doing with the legs. That. Your pelvic floor lifts up. You shouldn't drop down, so lower down slowly. Pull on the ball as you lower down. And up you go. Better. Breathe. Pull on the ball as you go down. There should be an obvious connection through your deep inner thigh. When you pull on this ball, pull up on the deepest part towards the pubis. Next time you're in your squat, you stay. Tom is rolling up and dropping down, so go up and stay. Stay where you are. Notice where the ball is. Breathe. Now you do your flat back squats. So breathe out, shrink the tonneau, relax your jawbone. Exhale, bend the legs and go down. So your knees go in the direction of your chair, don't tuck your bottom under. Stay. Just stay and relax your shoulders. Stay and relax your shoulders. Stay and relax your shoulders. Exhale, squeeze the ball. Squeeze the ball. Inhale, release. You can't talk and breathe, you're not that good. And <laughs> squeeze the ball and release. You why, have two why is, more. Why is my right knee clicking? Why? Because you're not paying attention. Pick up your heels more and push your knees forward. Now tell me if it's clicking. It's just harder. Oh, really? There you go. <laughs> okay. Exhaling now, the next breath out is a standing up tall. Inhale down into your squat. Am I holding Let your the ball bottom, Just keep the ball lightly. Up you go. Your breath out, remember, isn't that kind of... It's a... Thank you. Some your breath a, out is a smiley out breath as you yeah. celebrate your 60th moment. People, the next time you go down, stay. Oh, big, big, big breath in. Go down an inch and up an inch. It's blue ball time. Refuse to tuck your bottom under. Keep your heels high. Pull on the ball with every breath out. That makes the most sense of that connection. You have one more like this. 
Why are you keeping my heel up? Um, because I am. And go all the way to tiptoes, stand, and lower the heels down. Excellent. Now pull your heels tight together. Oh. Put your hands onto the chair still. You've got your normal plie squats. Plie squats, I so just love them. The elbows bend and you find the symmetry as you go down, bend the knees. Now if, you, if you hold the ball tightly, you won't need. So get your feet, you're not doing the right thing, actually it's just like squat. That. Oh sorry, I didn't hear that. So you didn't hear that. Your squat is the usual squat. You stand up out of it, Tom, just as you would. Thank you. And down into it. Sitting bones reach back. I have to say we have got improvement in Tom's body. There's oh, a symmetry I boy, I that we haven't seen. He's actually been doing his homework and doing the daily videos. So the evidence that anyone can improve with Pilates is that Tom has improved. If you do Pilates daily, you do get a prize called realignment. Down in this squat to stay, big breath in. Exhaling then, pick up your heels, squeezing the oh, ball. No. Tuck your bottom under and roll your spine up to a standing shape in your turnout. Ridiculous. Stay, breathe, shoulder blades, collarbones. Now you've got a small plie up and down. You don't tuck your bottom under, so let your knees. You might have a slight hinge of the hip, particularly if you're a flat back, I would probably let the body have this Thank slight you. angle. You won't go deep because you've got a ball between your Correct. thighs. That's the whole point. The whole point is that you keep enlivening everything here. Just I'm, do two more. I'm enlivened, darling. I'm enlivened. <laughs> do one more. <laughs> He's nothing. I'm enlivened. Last time, stay. Breathe. 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 Breathe, breathe, breathe. Squeeze your heels hard and then exhale to pelvic tilt. No, that was a thrust. A oh. pelvic tilt with a breath out. <laughs> breathe. <laughs> Go back. <sighs> exhale. Pelvic floor, pelvic tilt. There, it's totally different, isn't it? It's in the Breath in and lengthen. You wouldn't believe I've been teaching him for 10 years, would you? Exhale to pelvic tilt. That's better. And back to neutral. Your pelvic tilt should only ever be Steve. Pelvic floor transverse wall. Pelvic floor transverse and wall. Let it go back let to neutral. Back to neutral. Stand, up tall. Stand up tall. Then lower your heels then down. Let that go. Take the ball from between your thighs. Correct. Did that correctly. And then face this way. So just face the camera. Oh. I'm sorry, people. Sorry. Is my hair okay? Uh, line up your feet with, with the line. Mind. That's it. I've learned to do that. And take the ball now behind you. Behind you. And hold it, putting your shoulder blades together. So you can even, you can actually um, snag onto it almost, like squeeze it, pinch it. It's behind you. Behind you. Tom's going to stand up tall and look a little bit more athletic without falling over. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> can you take your feet wider? Yeah, of course you can. We're here. The ball's behind us. As you um, take the um, squat position, send your ball back. Your aim is to not throw down and up, Tom. It's to think. The hips reach backwards with the ball and your shoulder blades squeeze together. The thigh bones pull out wide. Don't want to shrink and hollow as you go down and up. Down and stay. Stay where you are. Can you get any more range of God, movement that's tough. between the shoulder blades as in pulling them together? I'm trying. As you hold that shape there, pull the thighs wider, go down an inch and up an inch. And if you can actually physically push the ball further away, getting into your upper tricep area and the big rhomboids, then you'll look a, a little bit healthier when you get back to the studio. Your alignment will be there. Turn your elbows into oh, each other in your mind. Come on. Just do two more. He's had enough. No. One just... more. Stay. Listen to the teacher now. That's for Tom. On the breath out, let your chin go to your chest where it should more or less be. Breathe in again. Now breathe out. Let the rib cage bend and push your ball up as you go down. Depending on your flexibility through the shoulder, <laughs> Not a lot. or depends, Tom has none, Rubbish. on how far you go down. Keep the belly to the spine. Keep the heels loaded. To come back up, we'll do the opposite. Pelvic floor, pelvic tilt. Look at that. Look at that. Keep reaching your arms, oh. reach your arms, and back up you come. Perfect illustration. Now, pull the ball in front of you. I'm going to do this because Tom's just going to take forever. No, pull the ball against your sternum. So ha hold it like this. Oh, that's nice. Elbows wide. That's nice. Hinge at the hip. Hinge at the hip. Straighten out one leg, and then bend it. Straighten out the other leg and then bend it. Now that you more or less know what we're doing, oh. 
Take it so it's a glide horizontal. We'll meet again. If you want to sing with him, don't then go where. with it. I'm going to give you a don't better demo where. than he's doing. The but sense. I know we'll meet again some sunny day. The sense day. of sliding from side to side, to side to side to side to side. Tom and I are going to take up figure Pilates. <laughs> <laughs> Two more. Two more friends, two this more. This next time, stay, stay with your leg bent. Okay. Tuck your bottom under and pull that ball onto this thigh. Okay, I'm there. Okay, with one hand. Okay, what do you do with this hand? Tuck the bottom under, sit up tall. You're now going to push into the ball to get a side bend. So you bend into the ball. Yeah, I didn't do that right. Right. So don't move your hips. The hips stay still. You bend into the ball and back. It might not be possible depending on how stiff you are. So Tom's moving that. everywhere. No, it's wrong. It, okay, people, we're going to abandon that one. There it is. No, that, that's what it is. Okay, there. No, but, but look, I've got okay, it. Okay, you got it. You're bending like we've been doing um, in our understanding of the body. Just the me, neck to rib cage. It just took me a minute. It just took me more than a minute. People, when he comes up straight, are you ready to change sides? Correct. So Tom, bend your other leg. If I was Tom, I'd have um, his legs wider to get more pace, space in the spine. This leg is straight. The leg that the ball is on the thigh, I'll hold you up. No, you are pushing me forward. <laughs> You're going to bend in and push against the ball. So the ball pushes against the thigh. Get it. And come back again. Don't look out. Your straight leg. Keep the straight leg. Remember, you're twisting. Okay. And back up. Remember, range of movement can only sure. originate from the armpit. If I start and with the, the elbow and the armpit, it works. Really? If you start with the elbow and the armpit, it works. <laughs> Therein lies a teaching cue that's been much used. <laughs> One more armpit, elbow, and the next time you there come you out, stay. That was good. And up you get. Right, quickly. Go back to your bar, everyone. <laughs> Don't fall over. No, I'm good. And the ball's now going to go, not between your thighs. Oh, I got that wrong. <laughs> yeah, you did, just for a change. Um, go into a squat with your legs relatively close together. Now place um, your right leg so that the heel goes to your bottom. And then put the ball behind the knee oh, on that I leg. Hate this. I know you hate this, but it's fine, I'll help you. Tom hates this, but it's a worthy activity. <laughs> so Tom, focus on. If, right. you, if you go back to focusing on your hands against the bar, so everything I did in a workout yesterday, all of the points that I give day to day matter and carry through. Isn't that easier? When you're ready to push the, the leg up, press down through the floor leg. So now as you push your ball leg to the ceiling, That's working. push the floor away. So now push through the floor leg as well. And then go, bend both go. legs. And up through the floor leg, yeah. Don't lose the connection between both sides. So you know this armpit elbow thinking? It's the same, so don't over push unless it's more. You're starting to twist. If you start twisting just because you're straightening one leg and then the other, you need to go back to this upper body area. I can't believe I'm so twisted. You are. Okay, keep going even though you've all lose oh, us. Come on. Squeeze it, stay. Stay where you are. Bend your elbows and lower your chest. Bend your right elbow, Tom. You're, you're going to bend it. There you go. Can you feel the difference? <laughs> So with your elbows bent, your chest near to your, um, sh your kind of chair head, as it were, or work surface, the hamstring on the standing here, leg, all the way to there, just here, along with the hamstring on the ball here, leg, just here. is short. So you've got one hamstring length and stabilising, one hamstring strong, and we're going to let that go because Tom's losing his connection. Come on. <laughs> that was good, Tom, honestly. Nice. Ready for your other side. Right. Your feet are parallel. Have your feet closer together to get you set up. Okay. Remember your connection that we said yesterday, notice and connect. Find the elbows bend, find the um, legs bend, and then pull your leg back, put the ball securely in. Take a moment and breathe. No, 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 I said take a moment and breathe. <laughs> you know, class is so much easier when the breathing is the dominant moment. When you're tuned into your breath, start to push the ball leg to the ceiling and gently stretch out the other leg and then gently flow down as though both knees are trying to find the thighs of each other. So your thighs simultaneously move. It's just that the plane of movement of the leg that's um, reaching backwards is different to the plane of movement of the leg that's lowering you and lifting you. 
So one's pushing harder up against gravity, the other is stabilising you through I've the hip. I've got some credit on this one. You want some credit. Tom, you need to know, Tom makes me a cup of tea, which oh. is rare. He nice. wants credit. I have to give him marks out of ten for how nice it tasted. Don't I? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, you've got two more. Up we go. And down we go. Stay up with this next one. So you make it a good one, so this side's much better than the other. Correct. Remember what we did? We bend our elbows and lower the trunk, not the spine, lower the trunk down. Still push the ground away oh, with yeah. your fore leg. Don't answer me back, put your energy into activity. You stop using your words. Breathe, keep the heel to the bottom. And pull yourself back up. Well done. That's tough. Okay, people. That's tough. Your next position is hands and knees on the floor. So we finished with the chair. Tom's going to go to hands and knees. Yes, your ball will go between your thighs once you're down to the floor. Okay. So put the ball between your thighs. Done. Check. Again, notice where you actually put the ball. You, your ball Check. would be mid-thigh bone. Um, if you're particularly long-levered, you could have it close to the pubis, but no one wants it on the knee. Okay? Particularly long-levered. He's not particularly long-levered. <laughs> he's particularly normal average in every way, except Pilates where he's below. Stay where you are in hands and knees. <laughs> Staying in hands and knees then, on the next breathing out, you're going to round from the head to the rib cage, not the bottom Tom, I said head to rib cage. There you go. Big breath in. And on the next breath out, pull through your armpit and take yourself into wow. the opposite. So if I don't get that right, it goes to my lower back. Yeah, well, because you took it straight to your lower back Tom. So exhale, pelvic floor now to spine, just the rib cage, you're doing it all wrong. Go on, breathe here. Okay, people, I'm going to get you to move. Um, stay it. in that forwards bend. You're getting frustrated with me. Where yeah. I've got... It's because you don't listen. Where I've got my hands around Tom's uh, lowest ribs, I can, I can feel whether or not he's caught you doing it now. So your core connects those lower ribs. The ball between your thighs now needs to squeeze. Keep your chest over your thumbs. Forget giving thumbs up. And pull your knees off the floor. All the way. All the way, push the ground away with your feet, squeeze on the ball, and can you see your knees? Yes. Breathe in. On the breath out, squeeze the ball and keep the rib cage bending as you bend your knees and come down. So pull the knees towards you, that's good, stay, breathe in. And an almighty breath out to go up. Inhale, float down, or exhale's fine. When you come down, you keep looking for the knees. Draw on this ball, it's looking good, Tom. You've got two more. Draw against the ball, push the floor away, push with the feet and the hands to get the floor away. Keep the pelvic floor oblique connected Come on, and refuse to lock out your legs. Last one. Next is the last one. Now press your heels down to the no, floor. Yeah, okay, go on. It's low. It's good for you. So push your heels down. Walk your right foot a bit further forwards. Further. You're getting a stretch, in chair. <laughs> Hamstrings, calves. People, on the next breath out, bend your knees, oh, pull them to you come on. as you lower all the way, all the way down, oh. and quickly come up off your hands. What would you give me out of 10 for that? That was good. That's good. We have improvement. We yeah, have improvement. so good. Tom, Feels good inside. Tom, don't celebrate yet. You've Sorry. got a while to go. Namaste. The next position, ball between your thigh bones. It's not the namaste position, Tom. Oh, it's ridiculous. You do. You said it. I didn't. <laughs> He's just seen himself in the mirror and said, I look ridiculous. I need a haircut. <laughs> he needs a haircut. Anyone know a barber that's safe? All right, your arms are by your sides. Listen, you've got the ball between your thighs. The idea would be that you feel that you can actually add some connection to it. So if your thighs aren't close enough together to feel that connection of the inner thigh, then move those knees, thighs close together. Done. Then behind you, you've got a reaching and flat, although if you have uh, issues with the rectus femoris muscle, the muscle that goes over your knee, and Baron, take your feet to flex. Oh, and? Everyone else, have your hands by your sides, big breath in. We do the shoulder squeeze again, so as the breath out leaves the body through the trunk, reach your arms backwards, just your arms, as far back as they'll go, and inhale, flow them forwards again. Make your breath, um, exhale and back, that's it, and inhale, forwards again. Exhaling, hello, Lindsay and Sharon Booter in the room. Inhale and forwards. Breathe out this shrunken area here, the breath out will always lead the rib cage to melt away from the shoulder. If you can leave your arms back, do, as we then lean you through the knee joint back to get your quads. Leaning back, 
The profile in your t-shirt area will not grow bigger, it will grow smaller because, breathe in, use your breath out now and shrink here. There, it's different, isn't it? One's Pilates, one's Thomas Tummy. <laughs> <laughs> and back we go. You're getting an absolute stretch and um, a lengthening moment through the quadricep area. Okay, we're going to let that go because we've got so that much more to brilliant. play with. That was really good. Thank you, Steve. Quickly, go back to hands and knees. Um, actually, no. Go onto your back. Let's do it differently. Go onto your back. It doesn't, okay. way, doesn't matter which way around you go. Okay. Once you're lying on your back, um, get everything level. So... No, no, no. I'm pretty lined up there. You lined up there. Yeah, pretty Wriggle lined up. Wriggle around until you get. So put your put your hands flat. Now, pull your hips up and over to your um, right head. There you go. That's not me straight. You are now straight. Just because Tom seems to need to do this, I wasn't going to plan it, but we, we'll do a quick glute bridge, um, rolling spine to get you centered. Look at that. If this feels um, slightly awkward, then the chances are you're not level. Remember, the thigh bones want to be level with each other. You can press into your heels. The immediate connection will happen into your hamstring. And the rib cage melts and rolls. And the back of the neck stays long. And just do one more big breath in. Exhale, shrink and roll. Okay, squeeze the ball and stay for eight. As you pull the thighs against the ball with the breath out, and then release it, inhale. Let the ball appear to be like your diaphragm, contracting and relaxing, engaging and disengaging. When this is done accurately, this whole area here in the abdomen shrinks and softens because of all the core muscles working and the inner thigh, the adductors working. A couple more squeezes, people. And keep the squeeze with this next breath out and melt your spine down from your mid-sternum area as you lower and lengthen that spinal chain, as it were, down. There you go. That was good. It was good. Now, take the ball from between your thighs and you're going to put it behind the pelvis. Okay. Use the hip lift that you did for your spine um, bridge. Okay. Obviously, I am not in your room, aren't you glad? You are in mine. <laughs> I'm glad. Um, the minute you put that ball, um, the sacrum, the fact that we have a blue ball means that you're um, more supportive than the red balls that we often use in the studio. Okay. Stay where you are and go heavy with the sacrum on that ball. Because some people I have never taught on this ball, people like Susan Hands, don't do it if there's any sense of pain in your lumbar or, well, anywhere in your spine. Just ignore that moment to put the ball back between your thighs. Otherwise, your aim is to keep your arms reaching forwards and your shoulder blades drawn down the back. Once you've got that moment there, the next thinking would be pelvic tilt using the ball. So your tailbone will tilt using pelvic floor transverse wall and then you'll go back into your neutral. Breathe. Wow. Follow the breath. Don't force the fall. The breathing will lead you That's to... That's a good line. He said that's a good line. Follow the, the breath, don't force the form. Yeah, okay, put your head down and get on with it. Breathing out, you follow the breath out on the pelvic floor. Follow the breath, don't force the form. And the next time you feel as though the abdominal area from here to here tightens and it's comfortable, stay. Stay with a connection. Imagine you're about to curl up, so now we'll have the hands reaching off the floor. Don't curl up. You're going to make me wobble, aren't you? No, don't curl up, just stay. I'm going to get Tom a block under his head. Everyone else carry on breathing deeply in and out. Um, the reason why you may not use a block under your head is because you're not that kyphotic. Tom, Thank you. Tom has... Special needs. Special needs. <laughs> we all know that. On the next breath out then... Imagine you're going to curl up with the head, neck and shoulders that don't, that I'm create that connection. Did you see the connection? Excellent. Yep. Navel to spine, do a gentle pelvic tilt of the lower back, um, in, or the pelvis there, and pick up your right leg no. into tabletop. With the right leg in tabletop, big breath in. On the next breath out, pick your other leg up into tabletop. There you go. Keeping your knee joints level. Now, if in this moment you immediately drift off sideways. Correct. Good morning, Zoe. This is Hiya, so Zoe. Comfy. Diane loves this position. <laughs> Put your hands if 
you need no. to on the floor. Zoe from Ireland. What about you there, Zoe from Ireland? <laughs> breathe deeply in and out. Tom, can you see your knee joints? Yes. Everyone, if your kneecap's thigh bone length doesn't seem level. I just want you to know, I'm surprised I'm still up. I'm surprised you're still up. <laughs> if your thigh bones don't seem level, that's because your hips are twisted. You're going to let your right leg stay bent and it will lower down to the floor, staying bent. Stay, don't let it touch the floor. Go on. And then slowly breath out, pull it back up again. So appeal to the core, the pelvic floor, the bikini line, Tom. You know your bikini line? Oh, God, no. We have the other side. We lower the leg down, have a breath in, exhale, shrink and return back. Breathe. And other side, lower the leg. As you're doing this, the um, recruitment here is all important. All important. You can see that Tom's just pulling his knees in a little bit more than he it's really It's called wants. a cheat. <laughs> it's called cheating. Ideally, so let's leave that one alone. Look, this. No, 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 no. Behave. Everyone, see if you can push your feet as if you're pushing them to the wall in front of you. Look at that. But don't let them twist. <laughs> and then bend the knees in. Come on, give me some grip. Exhale and push your legs forwards. Tom's added aeroplane to this, but he's suddenly twisted and gone out of orbit. I did okay. When you're doing this movement pattern, I know Tom's playing around a bit, um, because that's what boys do basically. The ability to press away and let your arms flow is one thing. Now keep your arms reaching to the sides of your knees. Let's bring everyone together on the Tom's going to keep both hands reaching to the side of his knee joint. His right leg is no. going to stay straight and lower down in the direction of the floor while he keeps both hands here. No. What have I to do? Lower this leg down. Lower it. Lower it. Lower it. Keep this leg straight. Okay, people put your hands on the mat. Don't rest too much in them, but put your hands on the mat. Now see if you can allow one leg, yeah. it's called single leg stretch, and return it back. And other leg, core connect. If you start to lean over to your left, then you're rolling through the hips and you're not using your obliques enough. Slow is good, and it's not a football that you kick back up, so you'll reach this leg to the ceiling. One leg reaches up there, as one leg reaches away. So this leg reaches up, so you send a two directional lengthening moment there and return back no, to the ceiling. Be heavy on the ball behind you as well. That's another cue that will actually work. We have one more like this. The body's getting happy. Breathe, breathe, that's straight. Breathe. And then pull both knees into your chest. Whoa, With both knees into your chest. It is. It's a killer on the abs. Tom finds his abs. <laughs> Rock a bit side to side. Rock a bye, baby. And then place your feet down. Fantastic. Quickly lift that bottom off your ball and roll onto your side. Oh, excellent. So side line facing the screen initially. Excellent. <clears throat> Once can... you've got the we're not, alignment. We're not doing hip rolls. Put your ball between your thigh bones. Okay. With the ball between the thighs, put your underneath hand either under the head or put it here. It really is um, personal to each individual. You don't have it here. Yeah, so have it there, but have it like that. Okay. Shoulder away from the neck, pull your armpit down. Better. 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 Once you're in that shape, that, straight yeah. away, keep your hand, keep your fingertips to the floor. On this. Somebody will know what that was about. <laughs> right. Your ball between your thighs, push through your heels, breathe in. Initially, just the breath in and out, refusing to brace anywhere, inhaling and exhaling. When your stability appears, Tom's hasn't yet. Now I've got it. When the stability appears, start to pull the ball tight in with the other thighs. Lift your head, I'm going to pop that under you. No, and see? That was... So pull the ball between the thighs and let the legs drift upwards on the breath out, on the breath in, lower them down. If you can keep the space between your ankles as well as between the hip, that's great. Can I look? Your underneath leg wants to work harder than your upper leg, but your upper hip area here will work hard. If you can go up, stay, Point the toes, breathe in and lower back down. Last time, abdominals connect, up we go, and down. 
Now ready for your double leg lift with the hip hitch. So place your hands in front of your hips, big breath in. Squeeze the ball really tightly now and then pull the underneath leg up and hitch the top hip bone area simultaneously. Go on and back down again. That's lift, it. shrink the tongue. Underneath, all right, stay up there. See if you can lift higher. You're shortening this waist there. There you go. Use the ball, inner thigh with the ball and hip pitch. Yeah. And again, breathe. And it's all around the um, crest of this hip bone iliac area here. Breathe. Use your breath out. Good grief. Woman. Two more. Breath out. And one more. Breathe out. Oh, get... And let that Whoa. go. Quickly roll onto your front before we run out of time. So you're going to go into your dark position. Okay. Was that fast enough? Yeah. Now this ball can go under your sternum. So I'm going to take the ball away from Tom's thigh bones and put it under his sternum. The no. people that don't like this, the people that have um, bigger of the body breast area, if you don't like it, that's fine. But certainly for men, it's great. And basically, if you've got a longer spine, it's so if you haven't got those elements to you, that ball will either be great or horrible. Can we? If it's horrible, put it between your thigh bones. Can we? Come on. Tom's now going to put his hands behind his back. And the other place you could have had the ball, it actually is holding it. No, there. If the ball's under your chest, you, everyone, you still need to have your feet flat on the floor. So Tom, flatten those feet. Thank you very much. You'll breathe in and drape over the ball, which is under the sternum. On the Put your shoulder blades together and push against the ball and come up, pressing the ball into the ground, but keep your feet long and reaching. Breathe in and fold forwards over the ball again. So inhale to melt over. Breath out, shoulder blades, push against the ball. So the ball behind you, yeah? It's not the chin that wants to reach forwards, Tom. It's your sternum, your chest. And flow forwards again. And exhale up. Don't let your hips fall. If you're rocking and rolling, you're not using any of your pelvic floor trans wall. Inhaling and down. Are we getting the idea of this? If you're not using a ball, you're getting your upper back out workout, you're getting the hamstring lengthened, and the part of the spine that's stable is the lumbar to sacral area. If you come up this leg, okay, and inhale down. When you come up this next time, turn and look over your shoulder as they're pulling more through one armpit than the other. If your body rolls over sideways, guess what? That's not the exercise. Exhale and turn and look without rolling the shoulder. That's 100 times better. Get your connection through your lats to rats in here. And turn and look. You're just worse that side, aren't you? That's oh, you. Oh, come okay. on, oh, come on, be kind. I'm being kind. It's your 60th video, be kind. All right, people, the next time you breathe, relax everything down. Place your hands under your chest. Um, bend your legs and pull yourself back up. You're going to go to the other side of side lying. Take your time. Take your ball with you. Thank you. And get yourself ready on your other side of side lying. I'll put my head mask on. I'll put your head mask okay. on. Ho, 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 teacher T talk. Thank you very much. The underneath armpit, shoulder. If you've got your arm in front, you want to get your shoulders lined up left to right. If you've got your arm over your head, fantastic. If you're using um, a head cushion, that too is good. The biggest secret here is, no, that's not it, you're not in bed, that's your position. <laughs> there we go. That's me straight? That's you straight. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I need help. Everyone, um, don't rush into this, this Always position. Always look on the bright your arm, okay. side of life. In that shape, if you're simply having your arm underneath your head, and then you learn to float the legs, so just float, the stay, just stay still. Stay. That sense of sway will be going on. Um, the cueing I would give if you were in the room swaying like Tom is, that the pelvic floor um, and breath out connection isn't yet in place. Use the sense of the ball on the inner thigh. Think of your underneath thigh drawing up against that ball and your waist still being off the floor on the side you lie. And that should calm the body into what would be a... Um, a lightness but a controlled shape. We're going to go for our leg lifts without being dramatic, Tom. Exhale the legs up and inhale to feel them go down. The sensation of lifting, you're a hundred times better this side, the sensation of lifting and gliding up and lowering down is 
what you're trying to feel a connection to. That ball simply links your thigh bone to thigh bone, which links you to your pelvis, and your breathing connects you from heel to head. We're doing good here. I'm a little bit astounded. Okay, <laughs> next time though, we're gonna do our double leg lift. For the double leg lift with the hip hitch, pop your fingertips in front of Tom. Can you wait till I actually cue it? Oh. Tom, Tom, when he gets something going good, he just wants to go on and on and on. Right, double leg lift and now hitch. There you go, and then back down. Remember the hip hitch, you shrink, using the breath out. There you go, you're in there, it's good. It reorganizes so much that I can't emphasize enough the need to discover how to get your body to do this. No, don't overforce it. Again, with hip hitching, you find it, you find that form, you don't force the position. Find the connection, underneath legs should work harder, your underneath leg, there you go. Underneath leg, blue ball, belly button to spine. Belly button spine with the breathing out connection rather than force. We've got last one. And relax that, that down. That was okay. 60th video. Okay, let's there. do two more positions. Take the ball and put it under your rib cage side lines. Push yourself up. Okay. Um, Diane, this is where you could use the orange ball if you want, but the blue ball is just as good. And I'm going to keep you. you you're in your sideline position exactly the same as you've just been. And your arm now can reach there. Let your head go. God, where am I going? You just sideline. Now the rib cage is bending sideways, but your pelvis has to stabilize. Take your left arm to the ceiling, Tom. Oh. <laughs> there, breathe. Can you breathe out and curl up sideways? Yay! And inhale and down without rolling back. No, no, don't force it up and down. Right, put your underneath hand under your head. Breathe. You're making me look disabled. <laughs> you are. Breathing out better. You're back to thinking of the ball as a, your connection. The breath out, rib cage to the ball, the breathe into the ball, over the ball. Breathe out and force that ball and breathe in and back. Stay still one moment, everyone. Now let your legs hover. We're going to add both no. ends of the posture to this. Breathe. Breathe in. Don't brace. Breathe. Exhale. As you lift up, lift your arms up. Reach for your legs and back down. You are allowed to pivot through the underneath elbow. They won't be falling down. No, they won't. Most people can do this, Tom. <laughs> Breathe in. And up. There. The side of your waist and the hip. I'm going to try it. Think Please. like a banana. You're helping me too much. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, I did it. You did. Go again. It goes without saying that as, if this goes to your low back, you're safe from it. <sighs> if you're playing around and it's all wobbly, it's great. You have one more. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning, Rachel. <laughs> this is our last I'm one. I'm dying here. People, we're going to do the other side. So quickly, rush, rush. Oh, Time is at the end. Some people have to get to work. Thank you. Hope you get the other way around. You want me this way? Yeah. So your ball goes under your rib cage armpit. You let the spinal area lengthen down. Everything's level. And hand under the head or arm forwards, whichever way. Shoulders away from the neck. We start Look, yeah, with it right. coming up and down. Your breathing muscles find the ball, which means your obliques. So I'm just bringing your legs further forwards. Check your legs haven't gone backwards. You still need pelvic floor. The legs want to ideally lift, lift to the point where you're like a banana. So up now, there? Yeah, impossible. impossible. It's the hip hitch with the obliques. Go on, reach. And hip hitch with the obliques. Pooh bear, get rid of. <laughs> Go, we can do it. Everything in your waist area now knows that it's being involved. Don't look out the legs so much as find stability in the hip. Last two. Okay. That's it. And last one. Bigger, bigger breaths. The more you want to move, the better you need to breathe. Oh, let me go. Tom wants to do two on his own. I'm just going to let him go. And. <laughs> I'm trying. Give me a break, woman.
It's okay, it's all good. I'm getting it here. Good. Okay, people, um, bend your knees in and come to kneeling position. Oh. Kneel up. Okay. Yeah. Both knees together. Take the ball above your head. So reaching out. Oh, my hair's This is your stretch. Forget that. Big breath in. Breathing out, bend your rib cage. Bend, bend, bend. Let everything bend. Imagine you've got a beach ball between your abdomen, rib cage, and your thighs, and then sit your bottom back, bending the elbows, and give yourself that final relaxing, I've done 60 videos, stretch. Keep breathing, breathing. Someone said they thought you looked like a mermaid in the previous position. <laughs> That's the best okay. I've had in years. Everyone, to come out of shape, tuck your bottom under, round the spider. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? It, I think it was someone called Rachel Murphy. Ah, oh, Rachel. Okay, our session of 60 videos has ended, <laughs> which um, can't tell you enough we'll how... We'll no, meet again. <laughs> we do know when we'll meet again. Um, no, we're, we're thrilled that you've done a journey with us to 60. 60 has to be, whichever way you looked at it, a great number to achieve. And so many of us have actually done all 60. Tom hasn't yet, but we could actually give him a star chart, couldn't we? To see if we can get him going. Thank you very going. much. Thank you. If you want to bring in your report sheets and evidence <laughs> that you've done all 60, I'll sign you off one at a time. No. We're thrilled. Have a, gl a glass of champagne when you get home. Not actually, not when you get home. Tonight is what I wanted to say. Abs could not do that last sideline position with ball under ribs. Yes, That's I am. am. That's your obliques. All right, enjoy, yeah, celebrate, be with you. and be very pleased with yourselves. We're very pleased with you, and we're going to have a great weekend. Lots of love, and we will see you next week um, for the live show. That has become our normal moments. Bye-bye for now. It's goodbye from us. Ta-ra. Ta-ra-ra.